back in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. I can't say that now. <laughs> oh, you can't say that now? Don't okay. I was so hungry, I put the phone down for Deadlands Rose. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> say, say it as it is. Delete that one. We're here with our friends today from French country. French countryside life. life. Uh, anyway, yeah, French countryside life. Sorry, it's the beer. <laughs> it's the beer talk. Yeah. Hang on, let's spin it. Hello, Jay. Are you good to eat? You guys, you're right. Are you right? You're right, Trace. Well, I'll show that. Let's see. Let's have a little look around. Hello. <laughs> you're on YouTube. <laughs> she got her own YouTube channel. <laughs> Waiting for my fish and chips. Look, Colin's got his. All right. Let, let me tell you a story about that one. Right. I uh, got the tickets and we'd be sitting here for an hour and a half, but I didn't realise you had to give the ticket in. <laughs> Who gave the ticket in? Tracy did. And moi. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone, hope you're having a good bank holiday. We're just up here on the land today, Budo and I, doing some work. But before I go over and have a little chit chat with Budo, I just wanted to show you this. This is our compost pile that um, Budo started yesterday. And um, this is the thermometer. I just took it out about a minute ago and I don't know if you can see it's actually gone down a little bit now but when I took it out it was between 55 and 60 celsius as I took it out of the the um, compost I actually had to pull my white my hand away quickly because it was hot in there now. Show, yep. show, show it goes watch, watch it go up 
so I'll push it all the way down. If you film that. You see that moving now? Quickly get close in. Yep, I think they can see that. So that's that's at 58 climbing to 60, right? So that's 60 Celsius in, in, in America. That's around 140 Fahrenheit. So it's anywhere between 130 and 40 Fahrenheit, which is where you want it for cooking, don't you? Yep. Okay, right? That's how we've done it in the past, haven't we? Yep. All right. So it works really quick, doesn't so it? What we do is the trick with these composts, and to get them right, is obviously your, nit your nitrogen, which is your grass and your green stuff, your carbon, which is your dry grass, uh, dry haze and straws and stuff. Then the other key ingredients is water. You need lots of water, believe it or not, where you don't drown it, but you keep putting the water on because the water keeps the heat up. All the microorganisms and that, they have to drink as well. So they work better when they're drinking the water, but also they need air. So it needs to be rotated. So what I'm gonna do is, this compost over the next three weeks, <coughs> I'm gonna turn it over uh, probably every two or three days because the other key ingredient is mass. So if yeah. you just point to that tray, the mass there, right, is probably around about two ton in mass. Uh, so about two and a half cubic meters or more. So the, that is where you want it to work for you. If you were working in a little pile, small pile like this, it takes a long time to get going because it can't get hot enough. Yeah. And you can easily drown it out with water. Where now I can throw eight, nine buckets on that easily. And it will just Cover absorb so quick, won't it? And yeah. it will absorb that within two or three days and yeah. then you start again. When you turn it over, you start to add the water. But <laughs> mass is the key and the four elements we talked about. And you'll get good compost. And you'll see in probably three weeks, this will be ready. Yep. Maybe four. All depends on the weather, how much rain we have in that. But I would say three to four weeks, we'll have beautiful, beautiful seed-free compost that's cooked properly and then we can start our rows. The problem with the horse manure, it's fantastically fertile, yeah. but it's still got seeds in it yeah. from where it's been stored, you know, for many years, six, yeah. seven years they've had it from even. So it's fantastic fertile uh, soil, if you like, but it's got the seeds in and everything wants to grow and it will grow. And you can see, if you looked in it close, you would see that. So that's another thing about comp uh, horse manure you have to think about. And sometimes it's nice to try and experiment and bring the horse manure that's been rotting away for a little while and incorporate that yeah, into Yeah, mix that the two together, and yeah. turn it over because it'll kill the seeds. So if you turn around to this one, Trace. Right, so this one here is one I collected yeah. um, last night. I collected this one from my mate Roy, the tractor man. Uh, it's all sheep dung because he keeps Suffolk sheep, beautiful black-headed white sheep. And... Um, that's their dung, and he's always trying to get rid of it because he, he ain't got a use for it. So I've just gone this morning, early, and picked up the trailer load again. So Let now what I'm waiting for, before I get the, the, this started down here, yeah, right, this compost down here, before I get that started, it will start to start because it's got dung in it and yeah. water and hay, but I need to get the grass cuttings, which is the real good element. Yeah. You get grass cuttings, that's the one and then you turn it in and turn it up because that gets the heat going. So that's sort of going, but not working properly. Yeah. The one over there is working fantastic. It's, it's, it's already cooking. It's literally cooking inside. And that's what you want. The cooking kills all the uh, the things you don't need in yep. it. Kills all the seeds and all the rubbish that you don't need in there. The insects leave it. Yeah. They will get no worms in it. No. Nope. It will just leave and go. And then you've got nice compost to start with to enrich your own soil and build it up and build it up over time. Because eventually you want to go to a no dig. Yeah. You know, we see, you see me with my tractor. I've, I've brought my tractor, but it's not really for really turning over the land and that. We want to do a more re regenerative type working, you know, with the land. But I have bought, bought a plow and I'm going to plow some land because it absolutely needs it. It hasn't had nothing in it, it's compacted a bit. I need to pull it up and start again and it's gonna take a year or so to catch up. And same with the garden. This compost and things we're doing now, we're only planning it yeah, this year. Yeah, it'll be next year we'll take it exactly. a little bit, well we are taking it seriously, but we can really 
yeah. knuckle down and, and get on know, with I it, can't will, we? I will look after this side of it. Yeah. And all the heavy moving and moving stuff for Trace. But Tracy will be the seed person. She'll be getting in there, mm. talking to about the plants and the seeds and what she's growing and how we're moving forwards with things. But anyway, that's a little bit on the garden this week. Okay. So, a little bit of a break up from the joinery. Yeah. Which I'll be back on in the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah. Because I've got a few things to do. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, chat to you soon. Fire them along. And here comes Tracy. She's on water duties today. Because I'm going to jump in the digger and pull all the stuff off the... Um, I've got the easy job, sit on the digger. <laughs> but you. if you see what Tracy's got there, we need eight of them a minimum, right? To go on here. So what Tracy's going to do now... Where's is, one it poured in the middle? Yeah, where we used to do it in the middle, up there, yeah. So fill it up there, Trey, and that one up there like we used to. So Tracy's pouring the water in. This is one day old compost. It's already up to heat and it's already needing water. It All right, it smells gorgeous. One over here, Trey. There you go, well done, girl. Trained you up well, didn't I? <laughs> no, you did, <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, but like, it's, it's a little bit of hard work, isn't it, Trey? You know, getting the water and that. But it gives us beautiful compost, yep. and um, you know it's at the end of the day for us, it's free. And it's a little bit of, of day, manual work, but it's free. This is all keeping us fit and healthy, isn't it? We will do because we're uh, start to lose weight soon. Yeah. Um, you know, as we're trying to eat what, a different way and um, and work in a way. We are working away hard, but we just don't lose weight because I tend to eat a little bit too much, and I like my beer, and uh, so. I've got to cut down on that but uh but the good thing is you're burning calories yeah that's right? right yeah so that's that's a little heads up on that on that compost and what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep filming it each week for the next three three two four weeks and you will see the difference so if you look at it now and then when we uh, get it to the finished article um go back and you know on this video you'll see it then and then see it how it is now it's a step by step um, like I get anal with a few things this is what I, I got anal with in England didn't I and I got it to such a perfection in the end didn't I but I'm quite anal as well yeah. one of the comments we had um, from a lady and she said she was exactly the same as me yeah. um, I don't like crooked pictures do I no. if, we, if we were sitting there chatting and I saw a picture crooked I would have to <laughs> yeah, yeah. put it straight so I think a lot of people are like that though they? they don't like crooked pictures don't they, about but um, with me I like to get things done to the best of my ability make it as best as I can get it yeah. uh, and you know say that I tried my best and that was it that's all I can do and that's I like with everything I do in my life and uh, this will come up a very nice compost when it's done so would that lot on the trailer so with that lot down there and like i said a few weeks ago we've got 20 tons yeah no that's not going to be a good one that side we'll um, to... yeah we're going to flatten that out but um we've got 20 tons of well rotted horse manure as well so that will keep this uh, sustained up here i'm going to point up to where we're going to work all this so all over here on this part of the field is all going to be Ray, uh, uh, um, bed lines and they're going to start to raise up as we add the compost rather than digging it in um, I was just going to give a little heads up on the the hedge we're doing as well had another thought done a bit of research and we've put the willows at the right places if you was growing into big trees but we want to make it more tighter so we've got enough willows to put in one in between all the willows that are there so really thicken it so up you know to weave into yeah yeah don't they, when they grow? and uh, i was speaking to our friend david and sarah this morning yeah. at the other farm the horsey Le Volet. Le Volet, and they said to me that they've got a load of willow coming next year because this year's a little bit late anyway but they've got a load coming next year of the gold and stuff he said it's really thick and uh, that will give us a lot to start that woodland like we said over the background there. But anyway guys, it's getting a little bit long winded so we'll, uh, we'll break there and uh, we'll see you soon.
a bit. <laughs> it's all done. Just watch Chessie there. Chase. Don't eat that. That's a worm you every three days. <laughs> I can't smell it from here. Smells like Combo's Corner. Arr! Oh, I love that I smell, I do. <laughs> Jesse, come here. That'd be enough, Jake. Perfect. Hello folks. Bonjour everyone. Bonjour. We're just here at our local uh, town. Yes. And we're seeing our doctor off and she's changing over to our new doctor. And this is how they do it in France. They, I'm going to turn, pan you around now and let you have a little look. So all these people come out to say bye bye to their doctor give presents if you look over there in the light blue shirt there's Roy he's with us um, they give presents and then they greet the new doctor in coming in it's beautiful all these people here they said there should be I think it was 500 500, isn't it? We were told. 500 people coming in to yeah. see their doctor off is that amazing eh? it's called a sound effect and there'll be food and everything. Lovely, so it's yeah. It's just as well. It's a, a bank holiday. Yeah, it's mate. Yeah. It's, so it's a bank holiday. Yeah. Bank holiday. Yeah. So they like to celebrate their bank holiday. Yeah. It takes some getting used to though, doesn't it? We're not yeah. used to this in England. There's many, no, many bank not. holidays in May. Yeah. No, but what I mean is this this event. Yeah. We oh yeah. It feels that. we don't have this sort of thing in the UK, no. doesn't? It? No. You would just be told your yeah. doctor's retired. And you got a new doctor. Yeah. Got a new doctor. Be with yeah. us. Hello. Uh, look, all these people here. She's going to make a speech yeah. in a bit. Um. Anyway, always be interested in that. <laughs> 